Hi, I'm Maria Piegler here Hello, at Dragonfly Quilt Shop in Watkinsville, Georgia, and I'm here with Annette Franklin, who won my Facebook color consultation uh, from the contest that I had, and Annette wanted to make the Renaissance quilt from Color Mastery, and we've got the quilt from the book right here. And Annette, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to make Renaissance. We had talked about this at lunch. Well, it's easy, mm -hmm. for one thing, and I just like the different patterns, uh, the fabric patterns. Mm -hmm. So you like the fabrics that were in Yeah, it. yeah. And you had told me that you'd had a very busy week and that you hadn't had a whole lot of time to <laughs> no, prepare for this. No. And that's one of the great things about Renaissance is that it's not a complicated quilt to make, but it looks sophisticated. Yeah. And so let's talk a little bit about how you decided on the fabrics that you wanted to use? Well, I always gravitate to pinks or blues, that family. Uh, and I found this one first. And there's no, no. pink or blue in it. <laughs> no, but it looks blue. It, do, it, it does, and it's, it, it's, it's a green fabric, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, and then I believe I chose this one second. Mm -hmm. this, so and, we've uh, got these two mm -hmm. fabrics right here. Oh, uh, <clears throat> then we needed, well, we needed another green, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so I chose this one. It's got some green in it, still got some of the, something like this. Okay, so this was your Papa Bear color. Mm -hmm. And in Renaissance, we use the Three Bears Rule of Color, which is you use a Papa Bear, which is your main color. Mama Bear, that's the second color. And Baby Bear, that's the third color. And your Papa Bear fabrics, you need three of. And so Annette chose these three greens. Now, did you choose green from the book and looking at the color wheel, or did you go in the quilt shop and choose green? I think I just went in the quilt shop and chose you green. You did. You didn't yeah. want to let, you know, we, we didn't want to choose the fabrics blind. Yeah. So we went into the quilt shop and kind of saw what struck you, and it was this fabric first. Mm -hmm. And so we went from there, and you liked yeah. that green. And so we picked two other greens to go with it. And then what did you decide on for your next color? Uh, the blue or lavender or whatever this color is right mm -hmm. here. So it was one of the other colors yeah. on this main fabric. Now we're not necessarily matching to the focus fabric, but using it as our inspiration. And you really liked that that violet that was in here. And mm -hmm. so what were the, the violets that you chose? Well, I liked this one. Mm -hmm. And then this petite. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. So two very different fabric styles, but they still go together. Mm -hmm. And this was your mama bear color. It takes two fat quarters. Mm -hmm. And then here's my baby bear. And this is a it's red violet color. and a stripe. Again, very different mm -hmm. from the rest of the fabrics that we picked out. Mm -hmm. But let's see all these fabrics together if we can. Here we've got your color palette. And the great thing is, is it's just six fat quarters. You've got your green as your mama, your papa bear. You've got violet as your mama bear, and then red violet as your baby bear. Now, was that difficult? Was it hard for you to do this? To go through the quilt shop and do this? Uh, sort of, sort of, a little bit, because I would never have picked these different uh, uh, patterns so, to go together. So these are different kind of styles of uh -huh. fabric from what you use normally, but now that you've got them together, I love it. You love yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. I like it. Well, good. Yeah. Good. Fantastic. I, I can't I wait to see this made. Well, me either. I'm going to have to get busy. <laughs> Well, great, Annette. Thank, thank you, you. Thank for you. joining me today. Thank you. And for more information, you can go to www.colormastery.com.